Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. This is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. If you haven't seen the first episode, you should go watch it by clicking the little eye up there. Check it out. So the guys that are left in the house that are currently trying to fight for Vanessa's heart are... So yesterday I did get in the bottom three, so going in today, I am going to pull Vanessa aside. And I'm a little nervous, but I think it's what I need to do, so hopefully it goes well. I had a one-on-one -on -one date with Vanessa, so I'm feeling pretty great. You know, I really got to know her more deeply than I believe the other guys. I'm ready to pop off my shirt. As you see, I came prepared and dive in. I'm gonna get to know her on a more like intimate level, I would say, and try and like bring those things up in conversation. She's awesome, like I love talking to her. She's definitely someone that I click with. It's one thing to talk to a girl one-on-one, -on -one, but it's another thing to try to always fight for attention. Just not me. I'm here to make a connection and potentially find love. Well, I just woke up and I think I'm gonna surprise everyone with a little bit of French toast just to start the day off right. Are you no, making anything I, other I, than French toast? Uh, no, just French toast. I don't want French toast, though. I'd like to put in an order for Eggs Benedict or maybe a bagel with lots. Um, call me tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we go downstairs and all the boys are just standing there having fun and they're talking with each other. And then all of a sudden, Christian pulls out stuff to make French toast. What are oh you doing? My gosh. <laughs> what are you making? I am making French toast. <gasps> French toast? Yeah. Can you make cinnamon French toast? Yes, I like cinnamon. I'm cinnamon in here. Really? Wow. Wait, yeah. what is that? Smell it. He was just making French toast, assuming we all wanted French toast. I thought that was kind of whack, honestly. He had already taken all the supplies, the milk, the eggs, everything. Just trying to show off his cooking abilities again. You gotta get a new gimmick, man. It's been two times now. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa. My mom. What are you doing? Yeah. Bro, he puts his milk for his cereal. Why? 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 Look at this. <laughs> Who now you're gonna get like no cereal in there. <laughs> this you're is all in the box. You drink the milk at the end? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh. Cecil putting the milk before cereal was about the weirdest thing I've seen this year. Uh, I had to rag on him a little bit about that. Uh, you know, it's soggy cereal is good. We understand that a bunch of guys in the same house, there's obviously going to be like a little bit of like picking on and teasing. and teasing. But like for us, when we're looking for guys, like you know, they gotta be nice. Yeah. And you know, if it's going to be teasing, it's got to be light teasing. And so I feel like there's a little bit of crossing the line. Look at this. Sure. I'll mix. Yeah, Look what mix. I'm doing. And then, oh wow, sauce. Dip it, get like both sides of it. And then just throw it on the pan. Just throw it on there? Mm -hmm. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. This like over the top obnoxious food thing he's doing, it's, it's ridiculous. And he's, honestly, I hope he leaves tonight. I really do. You flip it and Oops. I will start cleaning. Oh no, I messed it up. <laughs> That's okay. I messed it up. No. Here, I'm coming, I'm coming. You didn't mess up. What are you yes. talking about? Sorry. That looked perfect. I was like, do you want to flip the other one? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think Christian's the guy who's really trying a little too hard. Look at that. That's perfect. It's a dairy free version. Oh, dairy free one. And he said he's got a dairy free recipe too, so. Wow. Christian has a very good way of working himself in with Veronica and Vanessa, and I feel like a lot of the other guys are oblivious to what's going on, so I just felt the need that I gotta step in, I gotta break this up, at least like have my presence there, because if he's the only one around Vanessa, then that's obviously, she's gonna get to know him more than anyone else. So Matt steps up to the plate and starts cooking with us, and I mean, he's definitely here to step up the game and make his presence known. Is it good? This is amazing! So the guys are sitting over at the little kitchen table and they're like not even paying attention to us and you know it's not even even the group date yet but like you gotta get as much time as you can with us you know? Yeah. So there are some missed opportunities there. They're kind of being loud too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a simple cooker too. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay. Huh? 
we're playing. It's a game called Car Tuck. It's definitely fun. I mean, everyone's playing it. Everyone's loving it. Honestly, the guys had a lot of fun with him cooking and doing his thing. We played cards. We learned this new game. Um, I think we should try and play that, that game with Vanessa later. I think she'll like that a lot more than French Toast. I just love when guys teach me how to do things that they love and they're passionate about and it's super cute and what was really sweet was that Christian not only made French toast for us but made French toast for the guys and everyone else and I don't know I just like a caring soul and I think that really impresses me and that says a lot about Christian. I'm not gonna eat it but it's fine. Why it's so good. Ooh. Wait, so I know, now you want to eat it, right? So, you should try it, it's good. Thank you. No, I kind of, I kind of You're missing out. It's really good. Thank you, Christian. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I think I'm playing my cards right with this whole cooking thing, because I got to share like a sweet little moment with Vanessa. Okay, boys, now that breakfast is over, come over here so we can talk about today's challenge. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so thank you, Christian, for the breakfast. You're it was welcome. really good. I hope you guys had some food and got something in you for today because we got some fun stuff that we're going to be doing. Right. Today, the team group day challenge is we're actually going to have a pool party. Yeah. Yes, good looks. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> So I think a pool party is perfect for today because I feel like yesterday everyone was a little bit nervous. Hopefully this is a more relaxing thing and all the nerves will calm down. Yeah, and hopefully I get to talk to more people like chilling at the pool and stuff. So I think it, that'll be fun. Along with the pool party, there is going to be a challenge to get the MVP win. So that challenge is actually a compatibility test. You made a compatibility test a while back and I we did. are going to make the guys take it. Oh, I created it a while ago for a fun live stream that we were doing with our fans and 2,000 people took my compatibility test and no one got 100% on it. Wow. We have to get 100%? You don't let me No! No! If you get 100%, I'll leave, you win. So whoever gets closest could possibly be the MVP for today's challenge. So I hope you guys are ready for a pool day. Hope you brought your swim trunks and stuff, and let's get to it. Cool. Let's do some push-ups. That's actually so funny. Yeah, let's do some push-ups. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know who said it, a push-up contest. I could go all day. You guys got nothing on me. I am so stoked for this pool party. I've been dying to jump in the pool. It is sweltering out here. Honestly, Vanessa looks like 10 times more gorgeous than I think she did yesterday. Can I call you, can I call you Ariel from now on? Sure, do you have a big Ariel? No, it's because we mermaid for each other. <laughs> wow. Okay, on that note, I can go as well. I'm ready to have fun. I like going in the pool and eventually I'll take my shirt off, but I'm not the type to be like shirtless all the time or like wearing tank tops. I'm like conservative, kind of. So we're all just kind of chilling with our feet in the hot tub and then Matt comes up to me and pulls me aside and he's very sweet and stuff, but I don't know, it's just kind of like awkward. And then I was left there alone. So being in the bottom three, I pulled Vanessa aside today and just kind of got to sit down and talk with her about it. It's going really good, a little awkward, but I think it's going great. We have a lot in common so far, so hopefully she sees that. I'm seeing it. Honestly, I think Matt is actually gonna last a lot longer than uh, most of us think here. Maybe ask her about animals. Animals? Oh, all right. We talked about cats yesterday. You know that the guys are all asking me for answers? No way. Yeah, she makes it very tricky. Ooh, my strategy, like trick you really anything, have anything that I enjoy, I'm gonna put down, and if it doesn't work out, then it'll show that we're not compatible, you know? I talked to Vanessa a little bit yesterday, so I think that I definitely will get some of these questions right. I'm kind of excited to see uh, how much we, we match with each other. It's Friday night, where would you take me on a date? Personally, I wouldn't go out dancing, but I have talked to her, so I know that she likes dancing, um, so. Mm. 
definitely that one. How is the test? What do you think, Tim Roof? Wait, I'm not, I can't ask you for them, but... Wait, ask me. Brandon is done with the compatibility test and he's like freaking out. He's asking me all these questions and here's the thing, Brandon comes in super confident. He came in confident yesterday and today and I, this is the first time I'm seeing him like worry. Um, I'm sad. What do you do to cheer me up? Hug me and be there for me. Say everything will be okay and then hit the whoa, no chance. Send me good memes, surprise me by bringing me my favorite candy. Probably send me good memes. I think making a girl laugh is really important, especially when she's feeling sad. Even when she's not, I think making a girl laugh is like one of the most important qualities you can have in being in a relationship. It's movie night. What movie? Star Wars, obviously. Uh, I hand you the Oscorp. What do you play? Bugs Bunny. No. Bad Bunny. She likes to dance. So maybe Bad Bunny. So the guys are taking my compatibility test and they're coming out like stressed out. They're like going, oh man, and oh, I don't know. I don't even remember the questions I put on it. I don't even remember the answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that quiz. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Well, here's Everyone's the thing. traumatized. I didn't know they were gonna know, take my quiz. I'd show you guys, I would have changed it for you guys. Oh my god. His uh, eyes. You see yeah. when he came in, he's okay, like, bro? I mean, I think I crushed it, but like, oh, okay. just like okay. mentally prepare, like, it's a lot. So Cecil finally is talking to me today. We're just casually talking, and I'm really enjoying this. I. I'm really surprised that Cecil has stepped up his game. Yeah, it's like, uh, so I think that's the husky side, that's the corgi side. <laughs> just play in half, there's a line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were just talking about animals, and she's talking about how she has a dog. I said, oh, I have a dog. She's like, oh, I want to see some pictures. So I was like, oh, yeah, sure. So got my phone. Oh, his dog is so cute. I love husky mixes. Next question. You make me mad. How do I fix it? First off, I'm never gonna make you mad. Don't even play. But on the off chance that that does happen, leave me alone, horrible option. Agree to disagree, also atrocious. Apologize and empathize, maybe. And you get mad too, oh man. I'm a little volatile when it gets to that high stake level, but I think apologize and empathize is definitely the move. You wanna be welcoming and you wanna understand their opinion, so it's definitely something to take into consideration. It's a cold day and craving Starbucks. What do you get me? Everyone kept talking about this question. There's a super extra one that I want to choose just because it's so extra, but I feel like she's trying to trick me because that's the only one that's like that. But she may be thinking I'm thinking that and choose the answer, but there's two mochas. So I'm gonna go with the First mocha. We run into my ex-boyfriend in public. What do you do? Ignore him. Throw some hands, run away, be polite. We're gonna go with be polite. Good luck on that test. Uh, that's that bad? Dude, that's that took bad? you a minute. I mean, minute. it's not bad, but it's kind of... It was taking it forever. Took you a minute. I was expecting, like, out and back, but... Uh, no, they, it's tough. I'm worried. Yeah, it's, it's tough. tough. Hello boys, I called for a pool day and no one's getting in the pool, so am I gonna have to like step up to the plate and get in the pool? Probably. <laughs> when I said it's a tricky test, like you have to like be paying attention. Cause I was answering it, like I was honestly answering it how I would answer it, but then I had to think about her. Yeah. And I kind of did that on like halfway through, if that makes sense. Uh huh. Yeah. So everyone else was in the pool and Vanessa hadn't gotten in yet. So I pulled her aside for a second and gave her a little chat. And honestly, I was just trying to feel the vibe, gauge the situation a little bit, see if she was actually into me or not. Do you live with your family still? I do. Cool, yeah, I do too. Parents like me. I don't know about kids my age, but I'm all about the parents, right? <laughs> I get that yeah. in, Win the you know, parents. when the parents, after our little one-on-one, -on -one, I, I'm feeling a little bit, I'm a little more confident. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> So we decided to play Marco Polo in the pool and what a disaster. All right, we ready? Do I just start? All right, Marco. <laughs> Marco. Guys, look out. Wait, no, he's so on. Bro, I'm still pushing you. You didn't get me. I'm going to open your eyes. And it is a 
So I'm swimming in the deep end and I'm trying not to get tagged, but I'm so short, I can't touch the ground. So I'm basically like doggy paddling and I'm try, like, trying to not, not drown or get my hair wet. So I grabbed onto Alex's arm and like he helped me. It was like really sweet. Ooh, arm touching. <laughs> Marco? No, I said Polo! Marco! Polo! Polo! Oh, Marco. 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 Where is it? Marco? I'm always into like different things and I just saw Rubik's Cube and then I used to like try to speed cube and then usually I would do 30 to 40 seconds solve but now I'm kind of rusty so I do like under a minute right now but yeah I just like doing random interesting stuff that most people can't do. Time's almost up. Everyone took the test. It's you're gonna have to make a decision about who's won your heart today, so you can go on your one-on-one -on -one date, which I'm really excited for. I'm going on the one-on-one -on -one date today. There's no, there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna be the one-on-one -on -one date today. I'm excited to know who's the MVP of my compatibility test. Oh, cause that could change the outcome of the one who stole your heart. heart. Or can the MVP be the one who stole my heart? <gasps> I think they can. All right, you guys, so my sister has the test results of my compatibility test. I'm very nervous because a lot of you guys were like, that was so hard. So I'm very intrigued. Here are the results. I'll list third, second, and then first, and then the person who got last. I'm out. Okay, third place. I mean, Brandon. Third place is Cecil. Oh, look at you. Um, he got a 30 out of 100. Hey! 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 Uh, second place is another 30 out of 100. Alex. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What did you do? Well done, brother. First place is Christian. Oh. Hey! Christian. Look how much. What? Twice? Christian won MVP again, which I was very surprised, but also not surprised. I thought I might have won and I was getting a little hype. And then when she said I got second, I was a little bummed. And then of course Christian gets first and gets MVP again. I was kind of bummed, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to win that one. And then last place <laughs> is Brandon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> With a zero out of a hundred. Wait, you guys- <laughs> <laughs> no! I know I got a zero on the uh, on the test. I still think that I'm gonna get the one-on-one -on -one date. Uh, she she definitely sees something different in me. So the MVP for this challenge is kind of obvious. It's Christian again. And since you're the MVP. Um, you've won my heart this time. Aww. And not only that, you made us breakfast and everything, so we're gonna go on the one-on-one -on -one date together. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yes, and I get a date? Okay, I'm excited now. I'm super pumped about this. So Christian won MVP, and I also chose him to be the guy who won my heart because he made everyone breakfast. And I don't know, he was just being really sweet today. Like yesterday, I kind of, I saw him as like a little goofy, but then today, like he was just, I don't know, his goofiness kind of rubbed on me and like, why not? Let's go on a one-on-one -on -one date with him. For the one-on-one -on -one date, I decided to pick a cat cafe for Vanessa and Christian because Nessa loves cats and I think a cat cafe is a perfect place to bond with someone and get to pet some cats. But I'll be watching the date and see how it's going. A cat cafe? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like the best date ever. It's at a cat cafe. I love kitties. I love cats. Look at those eyes. They're so cute. It's okay. Oh my gosh, there's literally cats everywhere you look. Hello, kitty. Oh, oh you can so relax. Sweet. This is literally the best thing ever. Do you have any cats? I had a cat. I had. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> you Are so you okay? Scared. She is glowing right now. There's cats everywhere. She's so cute. She's like, kitty, come here, kitty. I'm like, I got the best date. I'm sure of it. I was so impressed by your French toast <laughs> this morning. 
Thank you. This place is so cute. I know. This is like the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty. Are you annoyed with me? I let you down. Do you have a cat? Too? I do. Mm -hmm. His name is Corky. I'm like a bit more nervous one-on-one -on -one than in a crowd of people, so... You know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm feeling good and I'm really happy that I get to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her. And it's going amazing. Look, Nessa's so happy. He looks happy too. Who would have known? What do you guys think about the date situation that's going on? It's bullshit, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's confident about it. No? Why? So because he's like, oh, like no one's gonna like, it's just gonna be me and Vanessa. Like he's like, my personality is so different when I'm around a lot of people. He's like, when it's just us one on one, it's so. Without Brandy, like, he's so bad different. at being social with a girl. Then like, why is he on a date show? Like, yeah, real talk. Cause like that's what we're all after. Brandon, how do you uh, feel about the quiz after the quiz thing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask him, bro. Cause Don't now, cause I, I'm, zero, like, right? I'm like, hey, Brandon's, so <laughs> I'm like, Brandon's up there. He's gonna be, he's number two, something like that. You know, I was like, he's he's right up there. And no the quiz, shot. I was like, uh, no <laughs> What's it like being like a influencer when you like privacy? Like, how do you separate the two? Um, I don't know. It's really hard to you know keep it private, and you have to just mm. figure out what you want to keep private and keep yeah. public and the things you do want to keep private, you have to work really hard to keep it private. That makes sense. Yeah. My my brother, um, he has he has kind of the same thing where he has to separate like the private life and the public life. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Wait, what, That's what does your brother do? He, <laughs> he's in a band. What kind of band? Um, they're called Why Don't We? And they do like pop music and stuff. No way. Wait. No way. Wait, what? No way. What's you, your brother? Da Daniel? Da <laughs> no. I know Daniel. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's brother. That's your brother? <laughs> oh my gosh, it makes sense because you guys yep. kind of look similar. Look similar, have the same, same last, last name. name. <laughs> I just found out his brother is Daniel from Why Don't We? And I'm kind of low-key freaking out because like, one, what a small world. I've hung out with him before at like my friend's houses and parties and stuff. Wait, so did you, have you gone to like any parties and stuff with him? Sometimes. I'm wondering I, if we've ever been at the same party before. Maybe. I'm feeling really good right now. Like we're both laughing, we're having a good time. Like she's lighting up, she's smiling a lot. We have a lot in common actually, which is Great. How do you think the guys feel about you scoring the highest and like winning MVP yesterday and today? Yeah, I know. I'm I'm kind of scared. Me too. Just because I like. I mean, it's not my fault. I did good on the compatibility <laughs> test, and that we're super compatible. That's just, right. That just happened to have happened. What do you think your sister feels about me so far? Oh, I think do, she do you th likes yeah, it. You yeah, you do? Okay. Yeah. It was the food. That's what won her over. It was the food over. one, and she convinced me to make you MVP yesterday. Did she really? Yeah. Yeah, I do like Christian. I think he's he's up there. He's definitely going to make it far. Well, in my book, he got the way he got to my heart was through his food. <laughs> Yo, so Timmy, how do you feel, dude? You were uh, on the date yesterday, but now you got snubbed. You know, the only reason why he's going on a date with her is because he got MVP twice, and she felt bad for him. That's what there's, I think, too. There's no way that she wanted to actually go on a date with him. That's what I think, you know, too. Like, Dude, hopefully I'm not out today. God yeah, damn. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried. I'm scared because I got the second lowest score. That looks so bad. Dude. And I got on a date with her, and I got the second lowest, so that looks really <laughs> bad for me. Well, I was talking to Alex yesterday uh -huh. before he left. Uh huh. But he said he said because he knew you that you were like a very um, positive person, mm -hmm. and you like positivity, mm -hmm. and I do too. So I just mm -hmm. what. Like why why so positive and like what do you do to make things more positive? Oh, and stuff like that? that's actually a really good question. I don't know. It kind of can get deep with mm -hmm. it. I'm here to make a connection and potentially find love. So I I want to get a little deeper in this date and really really learn about her and learn like what what makes her tick and what she wants in a relationship and what she wants out of life and stuff like that. Good, good deep. Okay. I like that. Come on. Well, I don't know. I guess I grew up like my 
I grew up in a religious home. Me too. And, oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. With like my family and my sister, everyone just taught me to just think more positively mm -hmm. rather than negatively. This day is going so well right now. We're playing with kitties and cuddling with them. And we're just talking about life. It's not even about like things I like. It's just about like deep stuff, you know? like family, our, how we grew up, and we're really bonding. Grew up religiously. Mm -hmm. Is that still yeah. something? Yeah, yeah, it's still something. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not as much as it used to be, but it, it still is. Like, um, my dad was like a pastor and stuff when I grew no up. No way. Yeah. My dad was a pastor too. Really? My yep. dad was a youth pastor. Really? Not an, my, like, you know, my dad like, was like the, he started a church where really? I grew up. So you're a PK. I am a PK. I'm a PK a too. P yep. How was PK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this date is going way better than I thought it would. It's kind of getting deep. Like they're talking about our past and how we were like, you know, PK kids and stuff, and, which Ness and I don't really ever talk about. He's one too. You know, sometimes like they say opposites attract, but also it's cool that they both have that in common, especially with their childhood. Well, okay, maybe we should probably go back to see yeah, to okay. the guys and go back, back to the to house. Back to the guys. <laughs> I'm don't be scared. Okay, I'm I got done. your bag. I'm it's done. fine. It's yeah, fine. I gotta have a good date with you. So yeah. that's, that's not something to be too scared of. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Go. We're good here. I really enjoyed this date. We had so much in common, and he's really sweet, comes from a sweet family. I'm really impressed with Christian. I am too, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like you guys had a lot in common and he's very family oriented, which sticks out a lot. I love that he's family oriented because we're family oriented. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of falling for her right now. Christian keeps winning these MVPs and now he went on a date and comes back holding hands with Vanessa. How y'all doing? Pretty good on yourself. <laughs> Tension's palpable right now. How was it? Good, yeah. good. Nice. Where'd you guys go? Yeah. We went to a cat cafe. Oh, oh really? As I'm walking in and I'm holding Christian's hands, I see the guys' faces and the looks on their faces and they're kind of like this. But Christian's also sweet for holding my hand. <laughs> So. Oh yeah, what did you get? Iced coffee. I asked for a mocha. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what. <laughs> but they didn't have a mocha there, so I just got iced coffee. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So you wanted the iced mocha? Oh. Yeah, I just wanted a mocha. Oh. So, Look at your seat, bro. <gasps> no. Oh okay. my. <laughs> Tim, what's up, bro? And now Tim with the coffee, after them holding hands, this is literally getting ridiculous. We had this idea together about getting coffee for Vanessa, and you just went behind my back and used it. You know, I wanted to do that, right? I was yeah. gonna order that, and then you sort of yeah. ordered right yeah, before. Yeah, you were, you were too late. <laughs> you were too late, bro. But we bro. talked about it, I thought, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's cool, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I told Cecil to do that. I told him that if he wants to get a chance with Vanessa, he needs to say something to someone who's in his way, and Tim's in his way. I didn't expect him to call me out like that, especially in front of all the guys. Me and Cecil are cool, but at the end of the day, it's a competition. Every man for himself. And we just won't it's discuss anything. It's a competition anything. at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, well, like, yeah, it on. may have seemed like I was calling you out in front of everyone, but I had to make a point. There's Don't... a competition at the end of the day? There's yeah. there's something. Not Apparently French not friendship, <laughs> but you yeah. know. Cecil stepping up right now? Like I I just got back to the house. I had a great time, but now like stuff's going down. Hi right, guys, how are you feeling? Yeah. Not too yeah. shabby. Yeah? yeah. Alright, well, you guys got 30 minutes before elimination, so you guys can get ready, relax, do whatever, and we'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Great. Yeah. See you it's time for the hardest part of the day, the elimination process and who we're going to eliminate. Today we're going to only eliminate one guy. 
It was super fun hanging out with all the guys today and I'm struggling with who I need to put in the bottom three, but I feel like I have an idea. Sometimes things are awkward with certain people. Some people do, do well on my compatibility test. <laughs> Yikes. So we'll see. Hello everyone. Now it's time for the elimination process. It is so unfortunate to see one of you guys go tonight. We are very sad. This is very hard for us. Yeah, but I, before we do the elimination process, I just want to thank all of you for taking time. After yesterday, I'm still freaking out standing here. It's been super fun so far, so thank you, you guys. Also, Christian, you are safe from elimination because you got MVP and you stole my heart. So, yeah, you're good. <laughs> so now it's time to pick the bottom three oh. for the chopping block. This was, guys, this was really hard to come to, so to come to this decision, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a dating show, we have to eliminate someone, so. So the first guy in the bottom three is Zach. Oh. My heart is pounding out of my chest, but real talk, I'm kind of not surprised. The second guy is Matt. Again? Really? And then the third guy is Brandon. That's like my biggest competition right there, I feel. My heart just dropped. I, I really don't, I didn't think this would happen. Um, I'm honestly scared for myself right now. It makes me sad to put him down there, but I think an obvious one we have to put down there is Brandon because he got zero on my compatibility test. Yeah. He didn't even get one answer right. I mean, I know it was hard, but like, did he even try? It's been really nice getting to know all of you guys. It was a really hard decision to come to, so. The first person who is safe is Zach. Yes! Oh, mama, all right, don't walk back up here. And unfortunately, the person who is not a match for me and is going home is Matt. Oh. Thank you. You are very sweet and you're very fun to hang out with. But I just wasn't really feeling it, so. Thank you. Thanks for being yeah. here. I'm really sad to see Matt go because he's really, really sweet, but I just wasn't feeling a connection there. I really see us being friends. It's her preference, her personality. I guess we just didn't mesh well together, but whoever wins this competition is going to be a really lucky guy, and I hope she finds what she's looking for. So, Brandon, that means you are safe. You can go back up with the guys. I'm safe, they kept me in it. I knew it would happen. Uh, even though I got a zero, it doesn't mean anything because Brandon's still here. All right, you guys, today was super fun, but hope you guys get lots of rest tonight. You're gonna need it because tomorrow is a busy day. Make sure you wear something you can be active in. Oh. All right, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm pretty confident I could run faster than all these guys, jump faster, I'm pretty athletic. We said goodbye to all the guys and Brandon pulled me up to the roof to talk to me. What? About what? Just stuff. Like what? Give me the tea, I didn't know this. How was your, your kitten experience today? How did great. you, how did you not bring me to the place with Cats. You like cats? I have four. You have four I have four, four at cats? home and right now I have three. How are you feeling about Brandon then? I don't know. I feel like no one likes Brandon, but I kind of I kind of dig him. I think he's really sweet. Every time he's talked to me, he's really sweet and he'll like touch my leg and like, I don't know. I'm getting mesmerized by him. What's your actual favorite dessert? My actual like favorite, favorite dessert? dessert yeah. Well, I love Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, see that's lit because <laughs> because I saw that and I was gonna put it because I f***ing like love those. What's your favorite flavor? I only go when I get the hot just dozen glaze. That's Same. it. Just the same. The original yeah, is seriously. so good. I actually have a video of me eating half the box in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs>
What were you expecting I'm not me to say? getting the answers that I want to What did you want to hear, Ronnie? No, I want to hear no. Dude, what is with Brandon? I don't know if he woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something this morning, but he's just going after all the boys, and I feel kind of protective of them at this point. That's an unfair competition right there. But as soon as Friday comes out, I'll kiss my <laughs> I want you guys to help me find my perfect match, so comment down below who you think is best for me. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, and don't miss an episode, so click the bell notification to get notified when there is a new episode. Also, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye.